Hi guys, in this video I've got five top tips for you to get the most out of using a hairdryer. Now this video has been one of my most requested, so it was about time that I did it. So watch on and I'm going to show you how. Tip one is all about how you start. Now it's important to ensure that your hair isn't too wet, you don't want it dripping all over the place, so make sure that it's towel dry to start. This is just going to speed up the whole process and it'll just make sure that you're not subjecting your hair to too much heat, which could damage your hair. Tip two is all about the product that you use in your hair for drying. Now I've seen loads of videos from other guys that say you've got to use this heat protection spray or this prep treatment or whatever, but actually guys, if you follow some of these steps, you shouldn't actually need this, but it will help to add a bit more style and definition. So I'm gonna use a grooming cream. Tip three is probably the most important and it's all about temperature. My hairdryer has three temperature settings, a low, a medium and a high, and actually it's really got a fourth because you've got this cold button right on here too. Now I never use that hottest temperature setting. I go for a medium heat and I make sure that when I'm drying it, I move it around my head and also don't direct too long on one area or too close. Tip four is about how you direct the air from the hairdryer into your hair to help build style and volume. I always use the nozzle on my hairdryer because that just really helps to get that air into where I want it. If you want a flatter style, guys, you can still do this. You just point it from above and down and that will just help to flatten and keep your hair really neat. But if you're like me and you want that volume, you can point from down below and up and you can just use your hands, you don't even need to use a comb, you don't need to use a brush. I just like using my hands to build in that style. And the final step that I always say, and I always do, is to finish with cold air. When your hair is hot, the cuticle, which is the surface of the hair, opens and it actually makes the hair look slightly thinner and also more dull. But if you finish on cold air, what you're doing is closing that cuticle, finishing the hair off and also giving it more of a shine. I always do this too, just before I style my hair with whatever I might be doing. Thanks very much for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you've not yet subscribed, then please do click subscribe, it's there, or down there. Uh, it just means you're going to see all my videos as soon as they go live, because I am going to have at least one hair video a week for the next coming months, and I don't want you to miss out, I want you to see them as soon as they go up. But I'll see you in my next new video, which will be next Wednesday. Bye bye already quite short. Nick goes straight in with a clipper grade one on the back and sides. He then goes in for a half grade and then a zero to fade it up.